Welcome back, guys. And with this new season, we wanted to have a panel where we could discuss issues that we don't really know all the answers to and get a little edgy. So here is our new panel, and we have Seth Spencer. Thank you. <laughs> this is Amanda Button. Woo! And our very own Word on the Street host, Candace Shoemaker. So let's get to know you guys a little bit. Three things that the, our audience would like to know about you. Go ahead. Um, I love Frank Sinatra. Uh, green is my favorite color, and I have a fetish for antiques. Awesome. Ah, shouldn't have said that. Okay. <laughs> um, I have an unhealthy fascination with dinosaurs. Um, I love all things bedazzled, um, and I carry a stun gun with me at all times. It's really cool. Yeah. It's really cool. Don't mess with me. <laughs> all right. I'm from Kentucky. Um, I play the ukulele. And I am obsessed with the bachelor pad, which I know is really bad. <laughs> <laughs> have to I like awesome. it. I like it too, though. What about you, Rebecca? Oh, okay. I love the Jonas Brothers. Don't. <laughs> I always am falling everywhere. I'm like the clumsiest person in the world. And um, I'm obsessed with chandeliers. Hmm. I don't know why. I just love it's them. a different obsession. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. I want to know about you. I think for me, um, I, I love penguins. Uh, I'm, I'm terrified of jellyfish. And. <laughs> One more. What was my other <laughs> one? I got it. Oh. Is it all music, right? Something with uh, music? I forget. Do you have a favorite right. movie at all? Oh. My favorite chick flick is 27 Dresses. There you go. That's there you go. very wow. chick flicky. <laughs> yes, it is. Well, let's just get it all out there. I want to talk about Christians. And we know that they're all just kind of a little weird. And I'm a Christian too. And we just do weird, stupid stuff. Like the I Pray t shirts. Like for yeah. iPod, yeah, right. I mean, okay, how many of you have been driving by down a church and you just see, or down the street by a church and you see mm -hmm. one of those signs? Very often. Yeah. I've got, I wrote down it's a me. few, okay? Try Jesus. If you don't like him, the devil will take you back. <laughs> okay, <laughs> prayer, God. free what? wireless access. Have you guys seen <laughs> these? Trying to be relevant. <laughs> I know, like what? Have you there, was one, there was one that said, uh, stop, drop, and roll won't work in hell. Oh, that one's good. Oh my gosh. Yeah. My, my well, personal favorite is Google doesn't have all the answers. <laughs> Which, wow. Yeah. What was that one? That that we're one. not going to talk about the bad ones. The ones that are, end up being inappropriate and they don't right, even realize yeah. it. Like, oh, know, like gosh. I feel ones. like that happens all the time. I know. But do they honestly think that these are going to reach people, though? Or is it going to bring people to their church? I feel like they're almost trying to get attention. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, they're trying to be relevant, so they're posting these things. And they're like, hey, if someone's like driving by, they'll see yeah. this and they'll want to come inside. Yeah. Like they're trying yeah. to like pull people yeah. in. And I mean, you have to admit, like it's great that they want to reach out to people. They want to be relevant, but I just feel like there has to be a better way. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. I feel I feel like there's two different kinds of churches when it comes to something like this. Is that churches are either trying to be relevant mm -hmm. or they're desperate for more people. That's mm -hmm. true. I think yeah. a lot of times we realize yeah. that it's it's not really about the numbers. It's about the quality of people mm -hmm. that are in the church already. Yeah. Are you discipling them in the right way? Are you yeah. bringing in people that have a true desire for God. Yeah. Yeah. And then through that, are you being able to witness out to um, your community, your city, your, your state, stuff like that? Yeah, you know, the old way people went about witnessing to people or trying to get people to come to their church was, you know, knocking on doors and handing out tracts. Yeah. Yeah. We don't usually do that now. But yeah. what do you guys, what have you experienced or what have you done to spread your faith or share your faith? Um, I've actually been on the receiving end of some of that. Like, yeah. I've gotten tracks. I don't know why people would find that necessary to yeah. hand me a track, but um, even waiting tables, people would, yeah, yeah, it's me looking all crazy. Um, people, I waited tables, people would like leave tracks as tips and think that that's like an appropriate thing. That was a tip? It's not, yeah. yeah it's it's extremely well, offensive. Like no, no, no. Like that, like, wow. I'm giving you eternal. Glory, like that's like that's how. <laughs> Maybe if they gave you the, like a good tip that with that, I'd be like, oh, this person seems exactly. nice. Let me read this. Exactly, but most of the time it's not like that. And all of the atheists wow. and agnostics that wait tables do yeah. not take kindly to that. Like mm -hmm. it's it's extremely offensive, <laughs> yeah. and it just turns them off to it. So yeah. I'm generally not a fan of of that. No, no, I will of, admit that there are some people that you will reach in doing that, but that it's not the most effective way to do it. Yeah. The, at, at our church out at Mulberry, we. Uh, would take every Sunday night and we would go out to, we'd have a group go out to Walmart and they would just walk around praying. Mm -hmm. And then when they saw somebody, they felt like God put it on their heart, they would go mm -hmm. talk to them. And a lot of times it was, just, it was amazing. That's the stuff that people would open up with in Walmart, mm -hmm. in the shampoo aisle of all places. <laughs> yeah. um, and, then, and, and then we had people who went door to door and then we had people who yeah. just kind of walked the neighborhood for people who were outside. Mowing the lawn, playing basketball, something like that. Those are some cool so. methods. I think the difference though is what you were saying is that 
like you were being led by the Spirit. You know yeah. what I mean? Like you could right. tell like you were in Walmart right. and you felt like yeah. God was like leading you to talk to someone. Or in these situations, like it's so offensive. Yeah. You know it's what I like mean? Like I don't yeah. want to talk to you, but here, read this right. little three page It's like I can pamphlet. tell you need Christ. Yeah. Yeah. It's like exactly. let me leave this exactly. with you. It's like right. I don't yeah. care about your personal life. I just, I just want to get my counted yeah. number. I saved one person today. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you think it's effective like when the Mormons go and knock on doors and do you think uh, they really I mean they have to people? see some they have to see some value in it or else they wouldn't yeah. keep doing it. Yeah. Jehovah's Witnesses. Yeah. You know, it's right. the same it's the same thing. We we lived two blocks away from a kingdom hall back really? home. Yeah, in Anchorage, hmm. Alaska, two blocks away from yeah. a kingdom hall. And they came and knocked on the door every Thursday and it was like, okay. Did you tell them like I'm a Christian? <laughs> yeah, we, we told them and, and, and they saw that, oh you're a Christian, okay, but you're not a Jehovah's Witness. Well how did they go about approaching it like when they knock on your door? Because I haven't gotten knocked on the door. Might it was knocked on it in was a while. knock, knock, knock. <laughs> Blinds down. Okay, awesome. Open awesome. door. Hey, how can we help you guys? Uh, well, hey, have you heard the good news? <laughs> yeah. yeah, we have. That's, that's good. That's good. Cool. Well, we're going to continue talking more about this right after this.